Are you f***ing kidding me? I'm not a billionaire! Time to learn real financial advice, team. If you don't know who our boy Nick is, he is a leading financial mind of our time. This is the type of content that you need to have a notebook and a pen by you because if you miss even a single word, you're missing out on potentially millions of dollars. Listen up, no matter what you're doing right now, if you're talking to your boss, an employee, a significant other, tell them to shut up because it's time for you to learn about money and how to make more of it. Do you wanna be 40 and have a Ferrari? Or do you wanna be 18 with a Bugatti? Doing real estate is gonna take you a long ass time to get rich. Don't listen to those pencil millionaires that are as old as your dad telling you how to make money. That's, that's another piece of gold right there. You shouldn't listen to people as old as your dad. And I like, that's honestly not even for finance. As soon as I hear someone talking that is as old as my dad, I automatically know that it's going to be horrific advice. It's going to be awful advice. It could be about anything. Judging from context clues, I'm guessing that Bugattis are more expensive than Ferraris. I don't know if that really matters because I'm pretty sure they're both nice cars. So out of the gate, we're already good. Already a solid piece of content. Very solid, in fact. Don't listen to anyone that's as old as your parents. Till you have at least half a million dollars stack away in your bank account, don't waste your money. When I bought my first Lamborghini, I didn't even have 500K in my bank account. Now my net worth is a thousand times his and I'm only 22. I like this. Not being stated explicitly in your face, but if you're ever gonna get a depreciating asset, make sure you're buying it with a copious amount of debt. Don't worry about having money. Don't be worried about what your boomer parents tell you about being able to afford something. Leverage your debt to the tits. It's the only way to do it in this game. People keep asking me how I celebrate for New Year's. I told them, well, there's nothing to celebrate. Imagine that, like just everyone's like spamming our boy Nick here. They're like, Nick! Nick, 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 we need to know, brother, how are you celebrating New Year's? Are you hanging out with the hottest models on the planet? Are you drag racing Bugattis on the streets of Dubai? Or are you about to drop the newest and bestest NFT collection to date? Unless you have a billion dollars in your fucking bank account. I don't celebrate New Year's because every day is like New Year's to me. Every day is like Christmas when you're fucking rich. Only broke people celebrate New Year's and Christmas because it's the only time they can see their friends and family and escape their nine to five job. I can do whatever the fuck I want and see whoever the fuck I want every single day. The logical inconsistencies in this makes it gold. It really, really does. Think about it. First of all, I don't celebrate New Year's, but every day is New Year's. And if you do celebrate New Year's, you're fucking broke. So... To any of you, if you've celebrated anything, I don't care if it's New Year's, a birthday, Christmas, Hanukkah, even Mother's Day. If you celebrate anything and have less than a billion dollars, you're fucking broke. This is science. This is the data points. But then by Nick's own admission, he doesn't celebrate it. But then yet every day is also that. Imagine if this is how our world actually worked. Imagine how tough it is to be Nick friend, which I do honestly consider myself at this point with our buddy Nick here. I love this. Imagine calling him up. Hey, Nick, uh, like, dude, I'm turning 21 and we're going to like go rent out the bar. It's going to be really fun. Like they have like axe throwing. There's a dartboard like, you know, like Stacy. Yeah, yeah, no, Stacy. Yeah, no, that's Stacy. She's going to be there. And then Nick's like, birthday party. Are you are you fucking kidding me? I'm not a billionaire. You're not a billionaire. Like, it must be so difficult to be Nick's friend. I just can't. It must be so tough to be his friend. 